On this last day of Black History Month, we have another milestone to tell you about. An Atlanta chapter of the nation's oldest black sorority in the United States is celebrating 100 years of service. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and tells us the local chapter has continued the work their charter members started a century ago. 100 years is significant no matter what you're talking about. This billboard is actually celebrating the first sorority graduate chapter for black women in Georgia. It's Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated's Kappa Omega chapter, celebrating a century of service. 1923 in Atlanta was a difficult time for African Americans. There was segregation, lynchings, Jim Crow laws. Atlanta's most famous son, civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had not yet been born. Despite it all, 10 courageous college-educated women started the Kappa Omega graduate chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. 100 years later, Bridget Grant is the current president. And now to be able to celebrate Kappa Omega's 100, knowing all the things that, um, all the odds that they had to beat in order for us to be here. Atlanta Marie Wolfock Taylor had been one of the 16 young women who founded the nation's first black sorority in America on Howard University's campus in Washington, D.C. Taylor, who was a social worker, came back home to expand the sisterhood in Atlanta. Marie Wolfolk Taylor was a member of the first congregational church that was established in 1908. She was a lady of class. She knew how to deal with people. She was a great missionary. The sorority's cornerstones are service and sisterhood. This donation drive is called Pretty Packs. Members who normally don pink and green are dressed in red to support Heart Health Month. The chapter assembled 1,200 packages of toiletries for Atlanta public school girls in need. Members say it's all about giving back. A real Alpha Kappa Alpha woman leaves an impact in her neighborhood. She gives of her she gives of her time, her talent, and her money. The Ivy Community Foundation, which is our philanthropic arm, owns its own building and has elevated the Atlanta community by awarding tens of thousands of dollars in college scholarships through several programs, including a very successful debutante cotillion. Other initiatives address literacy, education, economics, social justice, voter registration, and environmental sustainability. With a national membership of more than 355,000 women, perhaps the most well-known member is Vice President Kamala Harris. But in the Kappa Omega chapter, member Mary Frances Early, who is the first African American to graduate from the University of Georgia, is a trailblazer. And we can't forget Diamond member Anita Carson, who has served with distinction for 75 years and is 94 years old. Yes, yes but, uh, but it's so much uh, excitement. As Kappa Omega celebrates this historic milestone, the chapter boasts more than 500 members and vows to continue serving and impacting the community. We have women today that are in all kinds of fields that are making wonderful impacts. You will not find us on the sidelines. We are in the front of everything. I would like to see our level of service explode across Metro Atlanta. If you need hands, we are there. We are here to serve the community that we live in, and that's, that's our goal. The chapter will begin the centennial celebration with a gesture of respect and gratitude by laying a wreath at founder Marie Wolfolk Taylor's grave here in historic Oakland Cemetery. In Southeast Atlanta, Anjali Proctor, Fox 5 News.